I'm kind of hungry. I probably should have ate something before I started this new chapter, but I could hardly contain myself when I saw that it was going to be a horror chapter. So I'm excited to get started, so let's just do that instead. Food can wait. Food can come after. So we are on chapter 119. Uh, if you pour out all the lukewarm water, you'll be left with cold water. Impressive is, impressive title is always Paru. What does Haru think seeing those wolves walking to the university? Let's see. Wolves. <laughs> okay, so she's. <laughs> they remind them. They remind Haru of Legosi, and she hates it. <laughs> um, when was the last time? I'm so happy it's a Haru chapter. I've always said that it was. It was strange how underutilized. Haru is in this series when the main emphasis is on Haru and Legosi's relationship because that's the end goal of it you know that's the end game of everything Haru and Le Haru and Legosi you know working towards a functional relationship you know that's pretty much what's driving the plot so if this chapter moves that moves that along in a in a meaningful way I feel like that'll be the best thing ever okay so let's see she's in the cafeteria right now cute outfit like she's not oh that's what's different okay so she's not in the cherry tin uniform anymore she's at she's in college she's like I think she was like one year older than Le than Legosi so she she wouldn't graduate it well Legosi would have still been in school by now but he dropped out so <laughs> that's not necessarily a problem and it's strange because um, last time Legosi saw Haru, or rather the other way around, Haru saw Legosi, he was uh, walking Sebun home. So I bet this that's the reason why Haru is upset. Like, oh, he's moving on with his life. He's seeing other girls. And they've just been so distant because now that I think about it, Haru doesn't know anything that's been going on with Legosi at all. And she didn't know about the Riz fight. She didn't know that Legosi's been training, like, to overcome his, uh, his urge to eat meat. Like, she doesn't even know that he's a predatory offender. Like, I've always said that their relationship could be so good if Legosi just communicated a lot better with Haru. Because I'm still in the camp that the relationship, whatever you call it, it's super unhealthy. Because it's so one-sided. And Haru's even expressed how lonely she's been since Legosi isn't around you know it's like they're so unequal no that's the reality of it they are unequal i mean legosi has good intentions don't get me wrong it's just that it's kind of it's actually really toxic <laughs> so let's see how this goes how this chapter goes okay these must be your friends sorry i'm late the meeting was dragging out it's okay, let's have lunch. Thanks for saving seats for us. I'm doing well in my first year at university. I am a high school bully victim no more. That's actually really awesome to see. Because, um, you know, Haru was kind of like the black sheep at her school. Right? And, I don't know, her having friends, I feel like it'll be a better way of working through her own issues. Because, they're, mm, Haru's... Haru's problems are, let's see, especially comparing her since the beginning of the chapter, they were pretty subtle. Like, things you wouldn't think about, they're most definitely there, but I've already talked about that. I won't go into it unless it's relevant again. Okay, let's see. Legosi, Lugosi, whatever. I'm gonna forget all about them. I've decided to begin my glittering campus life. They've got some nice latte cafe in here. Uh, so yeah she's like that's she's the reason why she's saying that is because she feels like she's being left behind <laughs> she's being left behind and i wonder if last time we saw them uh she said she was gonna get a campus boyfriend i don't think she uh she does she has one but i think she's still being faithful to lego see you know so Maybe she feels like she's not in a position to like judge him if he is seeing other people. I don't know. We'll see. You think I care about that two-timing jerk? Nope. Not me. No, sir. 
She's still thinking about him in her head, even when she's with friends. Did you all register for your class? The process seems complicated. I registered. Wasn't hard. Let's not talk about that, though. Did they give us names for these characters right here? I don't think so. Huh? Akko? You have a boyfriend? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait. Her name's Akko. I want you. I want to introduce you to my boyfriend. Okay, her name's Akko. Who? Do you know him, Haru? No, I don't. Who is he? Interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing the emphasis is going to be on this character right here. Like, it's always a rule. Like, whenever you get introduced to a new character and you get a name, there's going to be some importance with them. So, I wonder... They're drawing attention to a new boyfriend, so who... Oh. <laughs> okay. Is he a lion? So, the name's Erdo. This guy, we're the same age. He's an Indian lion and my boyfriend. Okay, so Haru's face is... That's the perfect expression right now. Way to add insult to injury. Really. Like... This, what is, what is this even? This kind of makes, this kind of makes me feel some type of way. This can't be real right here. There's no way it is. Because after every, wow. Haru's face is kind of like my face right now. I'm kind of annoyed <laughs> See it, just seeing this. Because there's no way. Because, ironic, she looks like a Harlequin rabbit too. I think she might be. I don't know. I don't think she is, but... Anyway, how is how does this even work? How long have they been together? Like, I want details. I want the deets, and I want them now. But it's like, Legos, he had to go through literal insanity to get a grip on his, like, you know, his, uh, his carnivore instincts. You know, those primal instincts to, like, literally eat Haru, right? That was a huge struggle that's been there since the very beginning, and he's just now managed to, like managed to like rein himself in and get control over himself so i'm like there's no way and think about it like this we know the back alley the back alley market exists right they're in college right and more than likely this line right here who's you know on the cusp of adulthood more than likely has eaten meat right so this is just a disaster waiting to happen there's no way this is real right think of it like this remember in the love hotel in that one chapter when haru was uh you know in the hotel with legosi and they were gonna do it i guess that didn't happen because haru's natural instincts as a as one the weakest herbivore as a weak herbivore told her to just her instincts pretty much told her to like let let legosi eat eat her you know the the uh, i can't talk she tried to get Legosi to eat her, un, you know, un, uh, unconsciously, right? Like, literally tried to throw him herself in his mouth so he can, like, kill her as fast as possible. Legosi, on the other hand, you know, resisted doing that because that's what, that wasn't what he wanted. So, what I'm saying is, rabbits have a natural instinct to either flee or end their suffering as quickly as possible. That's what I'm trying to say here. So... And that's something Haru couldn't control. That was established in the very first few chapters, even before the Love Hotel when they were eating lunch. Her and she even said it. Her instincts were telling her to run away, right? But as they became most, more social with each other, I'm guessing those instincts started to like go away. Just as we saw with Sebun, like um, like for instance, how Sebun has a calming effect on Legosi, and he was going through meat withdrawal at the time, right? This. Right? Legosi went through hell and back to be with Haru. He even fought, um, he fought, a, he, spot, he fought a small war over Haru, you know, against the mob boss, right? Fought bloody, and to, to add insult to entry, they still weren't together after that, so this doesn't feel earned at all, right? There's no way this was earned after everything Haru and Legosi's been through. Sorry for the small tirade, but it's just like, no, no way. So let's see. I wonder if this is one of those, like, you know, fake woke relationships, you know? 
like how times are changing you know sometimes you just gotta you know see what's out there date other people other species i wonder if that's what this is if they're just doing it for the clout that's what i that's what i'm thinking that's honestly what i'm thinking i hope let's see i knew you were gonna react like that i know it's surprising well your reactions are refreshing compared to most of the reactions we got and this girl's like a lion <laughs> and Haru's over here just looking annoyed she has the best faces let's see I think interspecial couples are becoming more common nowadays oh yeah we just happen to be a little more advanced than most your surprise is perfectly natural advanced that's what that's what it is that's what they're calling it I am surprised but it's great I it's good I guess you're just ahead of our time Bullshit. There's no way that's what this is. It, it, <sighs> There's no way it can't be. And it's sad because look at Haru right here. She's just looking at them and she's just like... What? I'm trying to think what Haru's thinking. Like, there's no way it could be that easy. There's absolutely no way. Like, each of these characters have their own... Well, especially Legosi. Legosi's... Now that I think about it, well, think about what I already knew. Legacy is a broken character that attracts broken people, right? And he's had his own trauma that he's that he's had to deal with, and he's still dealing with that's affecting his life and the story as we know it. Me and meanwhile, these guys, right here, without a care in the world, what, you know, these two teens, this lion, this rabbit, without a care in the world, and blissfully unaware of the consequences or the struggles they would have to go through so it's like forget that i wonder what she's gonna say let uh, i'm trying not to rant but let's see okay so haru's seeing all this she's looking at that seeing them happy and she's thinking of legacy so this is just making her more sad or angry i don't know we'll see because this is what Haru really wants. Because I said before how the relationship, if it happened as quickly as their relationship, hap relationship happened, it would not it would not work. Like, at all. Because all it takes is just one slip from Legosi to end Haru's life. It's that easy for it to happen. And Legosi's been training and working hard, so that doesn't happen. So, what, it, what am I seeing right here? This isn't earned, right? And I'm still in the camp that I feel like Legosi and Haru's relationship can be a good relationship if Legosi were to get over himself and actually start hawk and actually start cluing Haru in to what's been going on in in his life. You know, it's it's really frustrating to look at this right here, right? This isn't earned, right? But Haru and Legacy, they do have rapport with each other and they do have potential to have a good relationship, right? I still feel it's not earned quite yet, like, because they still feel uneven. They don't feel like equals, not yet. Okay, so let's see. Their, rela their relationship is probably phony. Okay, thank you. I'm a, man, alright, so Haru... What, okay, so I said the author doesn't utilize Haru the best she can, but it's like whenever Haru... Whenever Haru does show up and she does get like a chapter like for her, like it's it always has an impact, right? Like, because she's... Mm, I guess it's not like quantity. I, I, I guess it's more so quality, like how she uses Haru. Because I feel... Haru's in my top five, like, of characters. She's like... She's what you don't see in a lot of media these days. She's actually, like, quite the realist. She's down to earth, right? She doesn't fall into any stereotypes. She actually goes against the mold of a lot of things that have been set up, like, you know, in certain media, like, you know, other, like, manga and anime, whatever you, whatever you watch. She actually goes against a lot of the mold. And she actually is quite mature. So it's like, let's see. Their relationship is probably phony. After all, true carnivore herbivore love is more painful and full of suffering, and she's aware of that.
We could never laugh together like those two. Our relationship was never that simple. But that's exactly why I... Why you what? Why you love him? That's what. That's where I feel like this is going. Like, I feel like... Because at first... I felt like Haru didn't really love Legosi. Not like that, at least. But I feel like their relation... Motorcycle. Okay. But I feel like their relationship has come to a point where Haru has mm, started to accept more... Not accept. Be more in touch with her feelings, right? Because I love... One of the things I, I, I give Beastars a lot of credit for is its realism. Just because, like, going back to the Love Hotel, um, Legosi said it perfectly. You know, just because he saved Haru, that doesn't make Haru his, you know? So, if Haru's coming to the realization of how much she actually loves Legosi on her own, that's awesome to see. That's actual character development, right? Many ammos think car Alright, so she's talking. Many I think her name was Akko again. I think it was Akko. Many animals think carnivore herbivore love is dangerous, but that's nothing but an old superstition. Just be understanding of one another like us, and you'll be just fine. No 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 no. That is not even Oh, let me just finish this panel. I'm I'm gonna go on a T read again. You shouldn't say it like it's easy. Hmm? Haru? Okay, so Haru... Oh, finally. She's speaking up because this... It'd be... Honestly, it would be wrong if Haru wouldn't speak up at this point, like, right here, right? It's because it's not easy. They've been through, like... They've literally been through hell and back. And they're still going through it. <laughs> they're still, like... Their relationship... Legacy and Haru's relationship still has yet to be earned. Right? That's what I'm saying here. So let's see what Haru says. Ah, stop it. Stop it. You're trying to make friends in university, aren't you? No, I want you to speak up. Because they need to know. Because this can easily just end up in tragedy. Because we've seen how this... We haven't... Actually, come to think of it, we haven't seen a, a carnivore herbivore relationship outside of Legosi and Haru. So... And you know what the sad part is? We can go through all, like, we could go through all these chapters just for it to, like, you know, this is just my opinion, just for their relationship to end up not working. That's a, that's a reality. That's good. That could be easily be a reality, too. You know, as we continue on, that could be the case. I, like, I hope not, but it's like, you know, it could be. But, you know, that's just the pessimist in me talking. Alright, let's see. If carnivores and herbivores could sustain relationships just by understanding one another, then we wouldn't have so many predation cases going around in the first place. Do you even know what your feral instincts... Oh, I'm sorry. Do you even know that your feral instincts will always take precedence over your heart? Akko, are you really capable of loving your boyfriend? What's wrong with me? Why am I getting so worked up? And every part of his meat-seeking body... Oh, are you really capable of loving your boyfriend in every part of his meat-seeking body? This is just an assumption, but... That's the only reason you two are going out? Because you want to look good? Mmm. I, I love Haru. Every time she's on scene, she steals the show. Someone had to say it. I think that's the case too. In all honesty, and I'm glad Haru has the ah. Uh, she's just so self-aware, right? She she just called it for what it is, right? Because this can easily end in tragedy. Like it's no joke. Like I've already explained it. I've already went on that tirade, that rant. But it's like it sucks. Cause you kind of feel for Haru here, but at the same time. This just really is shitty to see. So let's see how this works out. Hey, wait. 
What's wrong? Hey, Akko. Just because you're... Just because your friend said some awful things doesn't mean you should give me the cold shoulder. Why aren't you angry? You should have at least made one growl back there. She embarrassed me. Well, I mean... It's not really weird for someone to think that way. Besides, you're only mad because she's right. Okay. Okay. Even he said it. So that's why they're just going out. It's just for the clout. Interesting. We're only going out because we want to look good. What? We're just fooling around, to be honest. That's why we don't argue that much. Erdo, you're just a common lion. Are you cowering away from me because you don't see me as a rabbit? A female? Are you cowering away from me because you don't see me a rabbit as a female? Mm. This can't be forced. Honestly, this sh this shouldn't be forced right here. If you're not, then kiss me right here right now. Okay. I'll be careful not to bite you. Okay, so this this isn't Okay, B Star is getting weird again, but this isn't this isn't... Uh, get your words. Come on, where are my words? This shouldn't be force. What they're trying to do right now is force it, right? Th this, what they're doing right now, kissing, this shouldn't come easy. R mind you, Legosi couldn't even kiss Haru, right? He hasn't even had his first kiss yet. Oh, wait, he hasn't had his first kiss yet, right? And they're just able to do it without... Any problems, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, sweet. Are they really going to do that in public? They're outside. They're in public. Okay, things are, like, heating up over here, but... I'm not making any of these sounds, by the way. Um... You're serious, for one. She's, she's even taking off her shirt. I can't let you call me a common line and get away with it. Oh, wow. So are they really just... Is it really that easy? I'm starting to question it now. Wait. Or maybe they were just overreacting? No, no, no. It can't be that easy. It can't be. This isn't earned. There's no way they could just do that and just have it, like, be like that. Because one of the things that, um, that they made a big deal out of was, like... Uh, who was it that said it? It was going, right? Or was it Gosha? Not Gosha. It was the panda, right? Panda's going. There's two G's in here. So it was going, right? He he made a big he made a big deal out of it, and he said that you know the only reason why you're fixated on that on that rabbit is because you're you're what he called his uh his natural uh, what's it called his natural predator disposition or whatever was mas masquerading its, its, itself as sexual desire, right? So in reality, like, well, at least what he said was, like, Legosi's fixa fixation on Haru, you know, his sexual attract, like, he may think he's actually sexual attracted, sexual attracted to Haru, but in reality, he just thinks she's dinner, essentially, right? So I wonder if that's what this is right here. Because, I don't know if he did that just to be freaky, or is he, like, literally, like, getting a taste of her, right? But it seems like he's... This should not be forced. I don't know, man. Because we've seen what happens back, going back to the love... After what Goin said, and then going back to the love hotel, it turned out that Legosi was, like... Not the Love Hotel, like right before that. Um, when they were doing the mob, where Legosi even remember... Or, oh, I'm sorry, where Legosi even admitted that, you know, Haru's my prey. Haru's my game or whatever, right? So he admitted that deep down, he, he loves Haru, but he does acknowledge that, you know, his body is saying, Hey, that's my dinner, that's my game. 
And these guys clearly don't have that type of self-awareness. Because we even saw in the Love Hotel what happened when they tried to force, you know, when they tried to even force a kiss, when they tried to force sex. It just doesn't work out. Like this. I don't know, man. It, it'd be really shitty if, the, if it's just this easy. I mean, wouldn't it be convenient in, in, their, in Haru and Legacy's case? But there's no way. But it looks like we're ending things on this note, I guess. So that just calls. So if we do, that just calls into question our own Legosi's relationship, and were they were they being too careful all this time? I don't know. I don't think they were. Wow. I guess we are ending. I guess we are ending it that way. Okay. So back to Haru. She's sad. I went too far. I mean, I don't think I said anything wrong, to be honest, but that doesn't excuse me for criticizing my friend's love life. I'm the absolute worst. I think I was just jealous that interspecial couple actually enjoying their own company. I just want to see Legosi again. Wait, no I don't. <laughs> yes you do, yes you do. I'm gonna go apologize to Akko. I have to be friendly with my species while I'm at university. I wonder if she's still here. Hey, what's with all the commotion? Over there! <gasps> what happened? Is it some crazy shit? Did you see it? They're behind the gym. Oh! Told you so. But, oh, that's so bad though. Hold on. So it did happen. Let's see. Call an ambulance and the police. Get back, herbivores. Are there any large carnivores nearby? You're not safe. Get back. Is the girl breathing? Did he kill her? Did he rip out her throat? What happened? What were they doing? Wait. Even her... Her, uh... Whatchamacallit? Was she wearing pants? Her pants are off. She's in her underwear. They were... Wow. Okay. They are really getting to it so this lion Erdo he's man he's scared I don't think I'm trying to look I don't think he I really don't think he meant it honestly oh man I was losing what do you say I was losing myself mm-hmm are you really capable of loving your boyfriend and every part of his meat-seeking body? That's that. That's what Haru said to her. So I wonder if she feels responsible for this in a way. But no, no, no. In my opinion, this this was bound to happen. This was bound to have happened anyway. This is not Haru's fault, in the least. This is the result of her pushing it with him, right? So this is, in reality, this is her fault, right? And this is his fault as well. Both of them could have been honest and even said no. It's not that easy. And this chapter just proved it. So, in a way, it kind of just validated Legosi by, by showing this other cup, quote-unquote, couple, right? Reality can strike cruelly without warning. This is the reality of carnivore herbivore relationships. So it also throws another question in. Can Legosi and Haru's relationship really work? Can it work out? That's a question we have now. <sighs> I don't even know. I I hope it works out. That's just me. And man, I don't think... She, uh, she looks like she's still breathing. It looks like he, he kind of stopped himself. But this is this is actually terrible to see. Well, I'm gonna call it for now. You know, give me some and think about it a little more myself. But this has been chapter 119. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments section. I'd really like to hear other opinions out there. Um, but that's it. <laughs> be nice to each other and be good. Man. <laughs>